ladies and gentlemen. This is the Envoy of Kairos. Back for more Tears of the Kingdom. We've just beaten our first dungeon. Rito Village is saved. And now, it seems Impa has caught up to us here. Yeah, well, I dealt with the blizzard. Uh. Nah, I haven't gotten to that one yet. I'll be going there shortly. I believe it should be along the face of this mountain. Huh? Seems these two have something else going on. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna need a new one. Okay. Ooh, yeah. Uh, I'll get back to you on that when I have more diamonds. That's gonna take a bit. It looks like they added some ledges to make it a little easier to climb up this. Without having crazy high stamina. Well, easier, but still not easy. Seems like they made it a little easier to get star fragments in this one. Certainly appreciate that. They were a pain in the ass to collect in Breath of the Wild. I didn't even finish upgrading all of the jewelry sets because of that shit. Now, what are you, Bokoblin shiplords, up to in here? These ice formations can't be melted. I have to climb around them. Well, I'll find my way, you assholes, regardless. You can fuck right off. Yes, I'll take that gem. All right, let's start checking out the rumors at these stables. See what we can get from the newspaper. Ah, uh, great, this is gonna be a quest. Uh... Oh well, she was always very attentive to her horses, so... <laughs> oh. Huh. That's strange. first side quest plot here. I think I'll find those goats if I just follow these. Ah. Found the goats. No. And the recipe. Hmm. 
Honestly, I don't think you're too far off. Go to eat literally anything. <laughs> Alright, that's the first stable quest completed. Okay, he's actually a pretty cool character. I don't mind him. I miss Cass, but I don't mind him. Alright, what stable quest waits for me here? Alright. Subtropical region of the south, yeah. I know exactly where you're talking about. Huh. Alright. That's a new quest line to figure out, but it's going to take a while for me to get down there. Mm. Now we got a Goron here. Um. Oh. 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 Mm. Huh. The mountain's cold, huh? That's actually a bit worrisome. I'll run into those guys later. Now I have an idea of what's wrong with Death Mountain. I hadn't realized that the lava had stopped. Whatever's going on with the malice up there, it's like something is condensing all of the heat and getting ready to do something horrible with it. Can translate that shit. I gotta hear more about this. Hmm. This guy's gonna be critical. I'll get you down there to check them out later. Aww. Oh. Yeah, I'll gladly help you out with the depths. I'm um, experienced down there at this point. Alright, so this is your new discovery. This is interesting. It looks like there is a pretty huge... Gathering of what I still swear were Magma. They were following that guy in the underground. Set up this huge shrine 
using the Ultra Hand ability. Yeah. Okay. Of course I did. Oh. Yeah, they lead the way to that place. Hmm. Pretty sure I've already been to this. Uh, thanks for the bright blooms. Definitely need those. But I already discovered that. What? Oh. Hmm. Oh, you got something more. Oh, cool. Okay, instant hot air balloon. Nice. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, I can fix that for you. There you go. Yeah, it's pretty advanced shit. Hey! Yeah, your balloon's fixed. Could have done that without auto build, but. Yeah, there's definitely some stuff about her down there. I mean, there's statues that I swear depict Hylia. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh, you've got more for me? To help deal with Koga? Yeah. Yeah. Forest of Time. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Well, I guess that'll lead me to the next Koga fight. Probably. And Robbie, what's up? Oh, you guys did find a secret passage under here. Mm. Creepy voice. Oh. Uh. Well, I'll check whatever's back here. Probably not as bad as you think. 
Let me just... Ah, it's you again. I haven't seen you in a while. Yes, yes, I know your deal. Yeah, so they moved you here from the outskirts of Hateno. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. You dick. Yeah. Give that back. I need the hearts more. Well, at least it healed me in the process. Yeah, I'm not going to be taking your deals. Fuck off. I'm just going to look into whatever else is down here. Oh yeah, you should know what's going on back there. Oh, really? Hey. Well, at least she respects the thing. <laughs> ha! Thanks. Now let's try and bash the rest of the serpent. And there's even more to break through. It's got a claymore I can attach a rock to to get through it easier. Okay, found one of you bastards down here. Only the one, thankfully. And I got just the thing to deal with you. We're going to be quite the interesting expanse down here. But I now seem to have found... ...an abandoned underground lab. Oh, hey, part of the soldier's set. Cool. These caverns just go on forever. <laughs> Leading into parts of the castle that are long forgotten. It's pretty awesome, honestly. But I get the feeling I'm gonna start finding some creepier enemy types down here. 
Oh, I can break these. Why, wow, they were blast proof. That'd be cool, but at least I can get them. It's looking like a lot of this takes multiple hits to break. Yeah, that's why. The first explosion probably weakened them a bit, but. It's incredible how deep this goes. It's like there's no end to it. Okay, this cavern feels ominous. And I don't like how deep this water is. Okay, there's... There's a Hinox buried under all this rock. Yeah. Or specifically, there's a Stalnox buried under it all. Up. Oh. It appears the Stalnox is awake. Using your jaw as a weapon now? Stalmox conquered. Nice. Stalmox horns are pretty creepy. I mean, impaled Bokoblin skulls on top of it. That's. That's pretty horrific. Well. That was particularly durable, but three bombs did it. So now I know the hierarchy of rock durability is the basic brown and gray ones are simple. Blue takes two solid hits, and black takes three. Oh god. What the fuck? An ice-powered like like Got it. Uh... I am going to need a flamethrower for that. There we go. Okay. So we have more elemental variations of things. Has me terrified of finding a lightning powered one of those. Soldier's Helm, okay. I have most of the set now. Hmm. Starting to see malice particles as I explore this now. Am I about to find a way into the depths? Or am I about to find another room full of wall masters? Yeah, I'd say this room is looking like wall masters are gonna spawn in it if I go down onto the floor there. A lot of raw luminous stone clumps that don't actually drop anything. Okay, what's behind this one? It appears I have found a chamber of gold horriblins. AKA something I am very much unprepared to fight. Wait, actually, I did a shocking amount of damage to that one with just a bow. Let's see what happens if I hit one of these.
Okay, the, these ones are not attacking each other. Or actually, they are. Excellent. That's one down already. Okay, and that's a black horrible and not gold. Oh shit, that nearly one shot me. Uh Okay, I need more armor for one. That would help. Ah. Okay, these guys do not agree with fire. Alright, what's in this last chest? Okay, I now have the full soldier set. Looking pretty good. This was definitely one of the best armor sets in the previous title. The music down here is still pretty eerie. Like there's something horribly wrong with this place. And all the malice particles make that pretty clear, but... Still waiting for the other shoe to drop. Oh, great, I have found an electric leg like already. I'm gonna ignore that path and go down this way first. Okay, not enough in there to kill more than a few seconds before going after this guy. Okay. Now slain an electric leg like. And got some shock fruits so I can make electric arrows. Good. And a Royal Guard's bow. Okay. That was definitely worth coming in here for. Okay, I think I finally reached the end of this cavern. That frog was the last thing back here. I got a ton of gems. A ton of rare items. Killed a few new enemy types. Got some... Ah, uh, wait, no, there's one more path up here. Oh, boy. Okay, where's this big root system taking me? That looks... both promising and terrifying. system really never ends. I feel like I'm playing Minecraft all of a sudden. Okay, we have some steps here, so this leads back into the architecture of the castle. And deep beneath this land, our mighty first ruler imprisoned the demon king. To ensure the king's magic would hold, we erected a castle here to protect this sacred site. Without the castle in place, the site may be disturbed, allowing the Demon King's hatred and rage to be revived. The preservation of this castle is therefore tied to the prosperity of the kingdom. May it watch over an eternal peace. Sadly, that did not happen. This guy is all too easy to slay because he's in a tiny room packed with weapons I can use. He dropped his own weapon. So I can slay him with it. That was phenomenally dumb on his part. Ula's Alphos horn looks a lot like a katana blade. 
Might end up with some weapon fusions and end up going full weeb later. Which, frankly, I am anyway, so whatever. Okay, I can open it from the other side. And I've gotten... into the walls of the Hyrule Castle Barracks. Ain't that something. Yep, I remember this place. You know, the worst part is, all across the series, we see the castle in this sad of a state all the time. And at this point, I think... Everyone who frequently plays this series has just gotten numb to it. Which is a shame, really, because this castle is beautiful when it's intact. On the rare occasions we actually get to see that. And, oh. That was the door at the bottom of the... little pit in the courtyard outside the captain's place. Okay. Oh, I'm going back down to check whatever else is down there. Okay, not much to see here. Wow. Not diving down there. I know who's waiting down there, and I am not ready for them. Ganondorf can wait. What do you know? There's a shrine up on the castle. So I'll have to find my way up there eventually. 